Four-time Group 1 winner and sprinting superstar Batash was retired from racing last year and is now living at Shadwell's pre-training and rehabilitation yard, making the odd public appearance. Janine Lees, head of pre-training and rehabilitation for Shadwell, tells us how he's enjoying life in a slower lane. He was very hot-headed, as we know, in racing, and, but now he's totally chilled out, loves the attention. Uh, I mean, he do anything for a polo or a carrot, and he gets everybody's attention. He has to be in there before everybody else. But he's so chilled out from what he was, he totally took to retirement straight away. He goes back for his little um, interviews with the racing museum, stays there for a week, and he's been back to Charlie's. And they put him with the, their racing ponies, he was turned out with those. And he absolutely loved it, so and he's come back and he's totally retired now and he's turned out with his friend Akmo. He won the Nunthorpe twice and obviously he won the King Stands and the King George twice. Um, he beat his own record, it's been just short of 50 miles an hour. And he can, he is quick when you see him in real life, it's unbelievable. Bob Grace, who's the absolute gentleman, he really was. And um, Batash was unbelievable with him, he just, Bob used still to walk about a lot and a bad, fast sprinter, you know, it'd be, he would walk as slow as Bob did. It was an unbelievable relationship. We used to be closing our eyes, going, oh, but he didn't. He just, whatever pace Bob went, he went, never pulled him, nothing. You know, and I've, I've tried to hold him here, and he's not easy, never mind when he's race fit. But no, Bob went to see him when he was down at Charlie's at the open day, so, and he came and brought him off the box every time he came home. So no, it's a great relationship, and I do think, you know, Bob calmed him down before these races, you know, it did help him in his preliminaries before the race. This is his life, he's turned out in a paddock, um, he's got the big shaker's paddock here, um, and then obviously we'll move him now and again. They get checked twice a day, they get fed twice a day, and obviously, you know, if they need any other attention, they will get it, but they get a lot of attention just with the lads and the girls here working here. They, he's never left alone for a minute. So it was nice to come back and just to watch him wind down. And it did take a while just to, because he was so busy, we were frightened, like, oh, is he going to go flat out everywhere? But obviously we got him with Akmel, who ran over two miles, being a group two winner as well. But they've just buddied up brilliant. So he's done really well. To start with, Akmel thought he was the higher racker, but Batash soon put it into place. So Batash is the, in the pecking order, and they just love each other. They go for the same blade of grass. and But then they do have the little play fights, and mess about and run around flat out and but yeah they're really good together it's a good match he's given us so much we've got to give him something back now for what he's done for the family and um you know for shadwell it's nice to see that we can give him something back he give us so much joy and you know shake ham done he give a lot of years of pleasure and watching him so now that we can see him just enjoying his retirement it's, um, that's our satisfaction to see him every day